Hello dear students, welcome to Dr. Snack Medici classes. In today's lecture, let us try to understand about carbapenems. So what are carbapenems? Carbapenems are beta-lactam antibiotics and which are uh, same like penicillins and cephalosporins. And remember one thing about carbapenems, carbapenems are superior to penicillins and cephalosporins and carbapenems are commonly indicated in uh, multi-resistance bacterial conditions. So yeah. So carbapenems are the derivatives of thinamycin. So carbapenems are uh, developed from thinamycin which is an unstable beta-lactam antibiotic and this thinamycin is a parent drug which is synthesized from streptomyces, streptomyces catilia. So thinamycin is a parent drug from which carbapenems are obtained and this thinamycin is synthesized from Streptomy streptomyces catilia okay so now let us try to understand the classification of carbapenems remember one mnemonic uh, while discussing about classification of carbapenems uh, we have five different drugs in carbapenems yes remember amdef amdef is the mnemonic for carbapenems I indicates imipenem, M meropenem, which is a meropenem is a very very important drug, and we have D E F D, uh, D means doripenem, E means eratapenem, and finally F is ferropenem. Ferropenem is also a very important drug. We have different uh, nice. Uh, we have many unique properties for each drug. So let us try to understand the pharmacology of all these drugs. So uh, let us first discuss about imipenem. So imipenem is one of the example of carbapenems and uh, let me try to make you understand about imipenem. So listen carefully, imipenem is, uh, it is formulated only in parenteral route, one important point and imipenem is not given through oral route because orally it, its absorption is very low. So bioavailability is very less when, when given through oral route. So it is formulated only through parenteral route. So uh, 500 to 750 mg is formulated or given through IM, deep IM. It should be given through deep IM route. And we also give in uh, IV form, IV infusion. So 1 to 2 grams per day can be given and it is given in different divided, divided doses. 1 to 2 divided doses. So 500 to 2 grams is common dose per day and uh, while telling about imipenem just try to understand the mechanism all the uh, carbapenems will have the same mechanism like penicillins and cephalosporins they act by inhibiting the cell wall synthesis of bacteria and by that they have bactericidal action and see uh, imipenem is very less absorbed through oral route and it is given only through IM or IV and it is distributed only in the extracellular fluid so compared this is a cell and it is concentrated only in the extracellular fluid it doesn't cross the cell membrane this is very important point imipenem doesn't cross the cell membrane so it is concentrated only in the extracellular fluid so uh, this property we have seen in the aminoglycosides aminoglycosides also the same they are mainly distributed in extracellular fluid and they don't cross the cell membrane this is one important point and uh, imipenem is metabolized by an enzyme called dehydropeptidase imipenem is metabolized by dehydropeptidase and this dehydropeptidase is an enzyme it is present in the distal uh, it is present in the tubules of the nephron so it, it is present in the tubules so uh, it is metabolized in the kidney so we have proximal chondroitial tubule loop of henle distal chondroitial tubule and we have some tubular cells so in that cells we have dehydrogenase pep, uh, dehydropeptidase enzyme and this enzyme inhibits did uh, uh, that metabolize metabolizes imipenem <clears throat> and by that it it will be excreted through urine so this is the metabolism uh, metabolism and excretion of imipenem and remember 
imipenem is always given in combination with silastatin imipenem is given with silastatin so that uh, silastatin inhibits dehydropeptidase enzyme which is present in the kidneys and by that it increases the concentration of imipenem in uh, blood in it increases in the blood as well as in the urine also okay so by that it increases its efficacy so commonly imipenem is given along with silastatin however silastatin will not have any antibacterial property okay so this is about imipenem we have seen the dose uh, kinetics absorption distribution and excretion and it is commonly given with silastatin so this is about imipenem and remember imipenem has few adrs not only imipenem all carb uh, carbapenems will have adrs so while talking about adrs imipenem causes nausea vomiting allergies it causes liver enzyme elevation and sometimes imipenem causes convulsions so remember this is very important thing imipenem causes convulsions and see, uh, as it causes convulsions these carbapenems or imipenem should be strictly contraindicated in meningitis condition so it is contraindicated in meningitis so this is important point about imipenem and sometimes it causes leukopenia and it causes pseudomembranous colitis is one of the adr of imipenem and it causes cross uh, cross reactivity with penicillins okay so these are some adrs and imipenem and carbapenems will have many uses remember it is commonly used in low respiratory tract infections in complicated pneumonia conditions low respiratory tract infections it is used in uti it is a alternative drug for aminoglycosides aminoglycosides are cheap drugs and they are uh, mainly concentrated in urinary tract so even these drugs will concentrate in urinary tract so uh, they are cheap but these drugs are expensive and these have less adrs when compared with aminoglycosides aminoglycosides are highly nephrotoxic whereas carbapenems are not uh, nephrotoxic and uh, they are also used in abdominal and pelvic infections abdominal pelvic infections and they are uh, useful in musculoskeletal and joint infections okay and it is also useful in gynecological infections so carb uh, carbapenems will have the following uh uses so this is about meropenem and remember all carbapenems are very effective on enterococci bacteria they are very very effective on enterococci bacteria except enterococcus facium among the enterococcus bacteria it is not effective on enterococcus facium except these organism they are very effective on enterococci okay this is important point and uh, yeah and now let us discuss about meropenem <coughs> till now we have discussed about imipenem imipenem causes many uh, convulsions and it has allergy uh, and few other adrs and it is given only through iv form In the same way meropenem also available only through iv form remember imipenem meropenem ertapenem doripenem are available only through iv form but feropenem is the only drug which is available through oral form okay so let, let's discuss about feropenem later now let us discuss about feropenem feropenem 500 to 1 gram is given and it is given through iv route slow iv infusion it is commonly given in infusion and it has same mechanism like uh, imipenem but meropenem is resistant to uh, dehydropeptidase enzyme that is the reason meropenem is given alone meropenem is not given along with silastatin meropenem is given alone because it is resistant to dehydropeptidase enzyme so this is one important point about meropenem when compared with imipenem okay and uh, yeah uh, next we have ertapenem ertapenem also same like meropenem uh, its common dose is 1 gram iv given so yeah and well while talking about etropinum just remember etropinum t half is very high when compared with imipenem and meropenem so only one dose every day is enough one dose per day is given because of its high uh, t half half life and the next drug is doripenem so doripenem is same like meropenem and etropinum and finally we have 
ferropenem ferropenem is the only drug which is given through oral form and when com when compared with carbapenems ferropenem is the only drug which is given as tablets and uh, usual tablet formulation is 150 mg po and it is given bd or a td usually three times a day because of its low uh, t half and when compared with all other drugs extra uh, ertapenem has high half life okay so uh, these are different uh, classes of carbapenem and let me summarize about carbapenems carbapenems are same uh, like uh, beta lactam antibiotics like penicillins and cephalosporins and remember one important thing carbapenems are expensive drugs when compared with other beta lactam antibiotics and these drugs are uh, given uh, when uh, when a patient has resistance to penicillin cephalosporins and when any infection is not treated with penicillins and cephalosporins we go with carbapenems okay and they have high efficacy when compared with penicillin and cephalosporins this is one important thing and they are effective on enterococci bacteria uh, they are synthesized from tenamycin okay it is a parent drug and uh, uh, they have they are uh, used in low respiratory tract infections urinary tract infections and pelvic infections joint infections and most of the uh, uh, the carbapenem commonly used drug is meropenem okay meropenem is the commonly used drug among carbapenems and it is very expensive drug okay so, so this is about carbapenems and uh, see guys if you learned something from this video please don't forget to like our channel and don't forget to subscribe it for many such videos in the later classes thank you for watching